let's uh, move on and let's connect with our expert and try to find out that what should be the strategy on the index level as well as sectorally where you can eye at. With this, let me welcome Vinay Rajani, CMD at Senior Technical and Derivative Analyst at HDFC Securities. Hi Vinay, great having you and firstly good afternoon to you. Uh, seems like a decent afternoon for the markets as well, though there has been a decent recovery from the day's lowest point. But Vinay, for the past two days, there was selling pressure indeed. So what kind of a movement do you expect on the index level and specifically for the second half? Do you expect that we can build on to some gains from these levels? Yeah, good afternoon and thanks for having me on the show. So in last three sessions, we have seen almost 550 points correction in the Nifty and Bank Nifty also corrected by more than 1500 points. So we can say this is a profit booking on our overall bull trend. If we go by the derivative data, long unwinding was seen in yesterday's session where Nifty and Bank Nifty shared the open interest while they fell uh, price wise. So there was a profit booking, there was no short build up. So we can say overall trend of the market is still bullish. It is just a profit booking which is going on. And as you said that uh, there has been a good sector rotation in the market and there are many stocks in the large cap segment also which are looking uh, very good uh, technically. They are giving fresh breakouts and follow-ups are also being registered. So that's a nice um, a setup we can say we are finding good opportunities as far as trading is concerned in large cap as well as in small cap. Today small cap also is performing well. So in yesterday's trade we witnessed a, a sharp correction in the large cap stocks but uh, many mid cap stocks uh, did help their trend and uh, actually uh, overall breadth of the market has been good for last two trading sessions. So that's a good sign. I think uh, one should not worry about it. I think it's just a profit booking in primary bull trend. And as far as support for the Nifty is concerned, there has been a strong support at 25,700, which is a Fibonacci retracement level that we are tracking. So that's a strong support, 25,700. And Bank Nifty also uh, is looking good. And uh, for this level, around uh, this level only around two days low, uh, 52,800, that is a strong support, we can say. But uh, instead of looking for the trade in the Nifty and Bank Nifty, I would suggest that uh, you should uh, concentrate on the sectors and stocks which are performing and uh, uh, showing great amount of resilience in this market. So there is a good, uh, there are good, good opportunities in the stock specific and sector specific. But as far as Nifty Bank Nifty is concerned, they may consolidate a bit uh, around this level for a couple of sessions. But overall, I feel that at lower level, they will find support and bounce back and resume their uptrend. So as of now, the strategy for the day should be to concentrate on the sectors and stocks which are actually uh, resilient in this market. Absolutely. A very good afternoon to Vinay. And in fact, you've led me on to my next question to ask you exactly which is the sector then you have to uh, watch out for in current market. Like you mentioned, we are seeing a lot of sector rotation and it's time to look at sector and stock specific moves. So which is that sector that is shining bright for you? Is it the metal space that you are looking at or IT or auto or some other sector that you're looking at right now? So uh, to me, uh, metal index is into a continuation of an uptrend and there has been a multiple uh, positive news for the sector and they have been showing good uh, strength. So today also we have seen a good follow up coming in in the aluminium stocks like Narco and Hindalco, many stocks uh, uh, other than that, uh, Vedanta is also into a continuation of an uptrend and metal stocks and sector is a cyclical and it is a high beta sector and whenever it moves, it keeps on moving like this. So even if uh, we have seen in uh, good healthy upside in last three, four sessions, still I'm expecting that this uh, rally should continue on the upside. So metals can continue to perform well from here. So that is expected to do well and uh, will uh, keep on uh, giving good alpha in the coming days. The sector, second sector which I like is the IT. So uh, on 27th September, uh, we witnessed a good gap up opening on uh, the good uh, global positive news in the IT index. But that was actually um, uh, was uh, the, did not sustain at higher level and sell on news kind of thing happened at that day. But after two days of uh, uh, consolidation or minor correction, I feel that IT could again come back. They have bounced back nicely. But I feel that we are approaching a uh, result season now, quarterly results, and IT should bounce back from here and imposes Wipro and uh, persistent system and cohort. All stocks are looking strong on the chart. So. IT is the another sector and apart from this two uh, sector metal, IT and the third sector is the chemical sector which has given a nice movement. So many uh, chemical sectors, uh, many sector stocks are looking good like Atul Limited, Navin Fluorine, these stocks are moving well. So we should also concentrate on the sector like chemical. So IT, metal and chemical, these are the three sectors currently I am tracking for uh, short term trading. 
Right, so IT metals and chemicals are the sectors uh, that you are tracking in. Uh, well, I must say that especially the metal pack uh, in the last half an hour or so has seen a good recovery and a move in uh, in the stock on an intraday basis. Uh, but when I help us with your take on m and as well, uh, though the stock uh, did had a, a good day, uh, that's up around 2.5%, but that's on the back of the auto sales number. Uh, but how do you see that sec technical setup for m and because the stock is yet again approaching its all-time high levels, Vinay. Uh, so uh, how to expect the movement ahead? Yeah, so definitely it is uh, owing around its all-time high. All-time high was registered on 27th of September and that was at 3222 and right now it is trading at 3172. So obviously it is looking very strong. We cannot uh, go against the trend. It is looking very strong. Yeah, on the Monday we saw it hit a low of 3087 and today it has bounced back nicely. For traders, the stop loss becomes a Monday's low, which is at 3087. So clearly it is into uh, uptrend. It is continuation of an uptrend and it is outperforming the auto sector also. So, uh, as compared to the other auto stocks, this stock is looking very strong on the charts and I think traders should continue to hold on to the long position with a stop loss of 3087. So yes, uh, uh, looking strong and if market continues to be like this or uh, see some bounce back from here then this will definitely do very well from the auto space so one of the good setup uh, we can say from the auto space and 3087 should be the stop loss for short term traders all right so that's the take coming in on m m as well as the sectors in the markets thank you so much uh Vinay, uh for actually joining us on the show and to talk about uh the stock and the markets actually how is it looking like at this point in time given the fact that we are seeing a sector rotation or a churn but the last talk that Vinay did speak about was m m and that is among the top gainer on Nifty in today's trading session and also Vinay was There comes a time when your heart calls for you to arise plant your feet solid into the ground decide your own limits and then break right through them become something more it's my time to rise.